Now I'm looking at my pulley options. What I've got is an 8mm diameter shaft there with, no, sorry, 24mm diameter shaft with an 8mm keyway on it. Um, and what I know is that I can get, um, uh, well, I can get 60mm or 75mm pulley to fit that. If I look at some of these pulleys around here, and it's, it's as far as I can tell, then the pulley that was on the original motor, that smaller one, if I go to the outside of that, was, that was about 50 millimetres. So difficult to get 50 millimetres, but 60. Uh, 75 millimetres diameter on there. Well, that is... So the larger one on here is a little over 75 millimetres diameter. What options are there? Well, there's an option to bore that out, but if you measure the diameter of the centre of this, you find you're not left with much meat on that middle section there. Uh, you know, it would be very thin. And what you're doing is you're removing the pulley from this motor. If you've got pulleys that fit on a motor, my thought is keep them on because it makes the motor so much more valuable. You've got it ready and fixed with a pulley. I have this pulley here. And um, if I wanted to get the 24mm hole into this one, let's go, move this down to 24mm. Then... Um, That's it. You can see there's not a lot of meat left on the that part, but uh, you've got this dished pulley arrangement here. You could cut off the spare uh, pulleys, but uh, what I thought was they can easily overhang that um, part on there, which I've not been able to take off. You can do it with an extractor, but I've not taken off yet. Uh, but you'd have to cut a keyway into it. I'll take the keyway out and fix it on by a different method. Machine Mart do a 75mm pulley, 8mm keyway, 24mm uh, bore uh, at approximately the size of the larger one on here, 10 quid or less than 10 pounds. Just turn that off. So, <laughs> it's hardly worth uh, getting the other lathe set up, considering it's already got the keyway. From China, you can get one which is looks like it's cast iron. Uh, that's, uh, you can get it 24mm. It seems to be a 6mm keyway on that one, so you'd have to file out the keyway a bit. Uh, but it's cast iron, you'd be able to file it out, I suppose. And uh, that one is uh, about 11 or 12 pounds and it's smaller than it's 60 millimeters rather than 75 and i think there's another company doing them for about 25 pounds 23 25 pounds uh, which are quite small uh, i'll go inside and i'll look i'll show you that on youtube e ebay whatever it is so there's the options machine mart is like the easiest option uh, local accessible. Oh, they're from China. It's A or B type pulleys. And I'm so, um, I can see the slight difference in these, but I don't know what the difference is between an A and a B type pulley. They've also got a flat, flatter bottom. Uh, because Machine Mart and some of the others don't even specify the difference between an A and a B type pulley. There's uh, full diagrams. I'll show you that as well. That's the pulley options that I am facing, and my preference would be to buy one before I do any more work on fitting this, so I can get a belt, get it lined up, so I get the whole mounting holes spot on. So this one is £10 from China, it's cast iron. I don't think it's, well, according to the drawing, it's not got any grub screw so it's purely by way of the keyway 
on the keyway is six millimeters the bore 24 millimeters it'll fit on the shaft uh, and it's a 63 millimeter pulley and that dimension is from the top so it's not kind of halfway but that's what an a type pulley looks like and this is a, a b pulley again you can get it with uh, 24 millimeter you can get it with a smaller bore still a six millimeter wide keyway and still 60 millimeters on the top um, what I don't understand is uh, what the difference is between an A and a B type that's a B type it doesn't have the angle of the sides E the bottom of the groove is 7.3 millimeters f the top of the groove is 16 so 70, 70, if you remember 7.3 and 16 for the bottom and top of the groove let's see if it's that's the difference uh here we have e r 4.5 and 11 millimeters so the a type pulley is for a narrower belt uh, 4.5 the bottom 11 uh, and the B type was um, that's the difference 7.3 and 16 so that explains the difference as far as I can tell everything else is more or less the same 10 pound pulley there far tools do one 24 millimeter bore 50 millimeter diameter at 23 pounds 23 uh, they don't say much more about it so uh, that one would fit nicely and it would be exactly the right size for uh, the existing setup and it has the right size keyway oh um, where's the thing that tells you about the keyway sorry guys specification uh, more to explore uh, GDPR they're in Manchester which is very nice other information all right no it doesn't tell you the keyway size but they're in Manchester give them a call they've got a phone number well I can find a phone number for it can't I and check that it's got eight millimeter keyway but just by observation it would look as though that's the eight millimeter keyway to fit my motor uh, okay and then that's it really uh, machine mark a different price altogether they've got it in there uh, 24 millimeter bore eight millimeter keyway but 75 millimeter PCD ever PCD that's for a single pulley which will be one that looks like that but is single that's what we've got and that's uh, 10 pounds if I can be satisfied myself with a 75 millimeter various options 50 millimeter gives me the smallest one but I'm paying uh, this company in Manchester 2323 uh, where we go bearing shop uh, don't do one bearing shop UK uh, bore is pilot hole you have to drill it out yourself so you can get a pulley for 10 pounds but you see uh, they're no smaller in terms of size a whole range of things get these aluminium pulleys from bearing shop but you then have to drill out the bore yourself and it's grub screw it's not keyway interesting range of considerations well i found a super helpful company bearing station obviously they do bearings as well as pulleys huge selection of pulleys but now I've got to work out whether I want SPZ, A, B, or C. SPZ, SPA, SPB, SPC. Uh, not timing pulleys. Uh, for the V pulleys. Uh, 
Deep pulleys, timing bolts are used with belts, transmit power, torque, well, and belts. The thing about this is they don't have any uh, with a uh, straight 24 millimetre. It seems their smallest is 25, but they do do the pulleys with this taper lock. And so I'm going to get a quote for a taper lock pulley, which will have a core, taper lock core, that will fit onto a 24 millimetre shaft. They will go down to eight millimeter shafts or something like that rather than uh, another and I am reasonably confident with a taper lock shaft I'll be able to lock it onto my 24 millimeter diameter shaft let me just now check which V belt section I need as far as I can tell for the MIFID belts it's 10 millimeter width by 8 millimeter depth and that's one of those SPs can't remember which. Right, V belts characterized by two or more pulleys come in this uh, different sizes as a V belt wedge, i.e., SPZ is 10 millimeter wide, A is 13, B is 17, C is 22. I am fairly confident, I've just measured a belt, it's a 10 millimeter wide belt, so it's SPZ is the size that I want. On the others, the other Chinese ones, where it had type A and type B, it's not type B, it's type A. So, learning a bit about those, I now have to learn, relearn, because I have used tooth belts with taper locks a long, long time ago when doing proper engineering, because that was the uh, engineering standard for fitting uh, these tooth belts onto shafts was with these taper locks. I don't know what time of year you're watching this uh, YouTube video, but uh, it's now getting close to Christmas and I've got a little packet that's arrived. And I was delighted. It was like getting a little Christmas present. Because what's come in this package are two components. One component was in stock and the other components had to be ordered in by the uh, suppliers. Uh, and so this thing here is an SKF uh, part. Uh, but basically it's the core of these taper lock bush pulleys. And here is a taper lock bush pulley. Uh, and immediately on seeing them, I can see what good engineering they are. But let's get them out of the plastic bags so that we can look at them and see what we've got. Right, so there we are. There's a pulley. It's a V pulley. It's SPZ which uh, means it's Z profile, which is a profile for MIFID uh, lathes, well, for my MIFID lathes. The other thing about it is it's 60, uh, and that means it's a, a 60 millimeter diameter pulley. The small pulley on the my MIFID motor was 50 millimeters diameter, and the larger pulley much bigger than that. So it's a little bit bigger than the smallest pulley that was on the motor. The problem is that I had a new larger motor and so what I've got here is the uh, center of the taper lock and uh, okay. why am I delighted why I'm delighted is because what I've got is a really weighty beautifully finished piece of machined en well engineered material it's just lovely it's lovely to feel it's weighty it's not a cheap lightweight aluminium pulley or uh, a die cast uh, cast steel pulley uh, which is what uh, some offerings are it, it might well be uh, originally forged or cast steel but it's beautifully finished and there's the uh, taper lock part to it uh, line it up nicely with the keyway I'm not sure the keyway is going to be big enough for my uh, key uh, not to worry about that. I'm sure there's something we can do about it. Uh, the thing I just need to check is whether I've 
correctly been supplied with the right center for this it's oh, i don't think that's going to focus on it 43 by 43 by 26 uh can't remember can't remember i think the easiest thing is just to try it on the shaft and see how close it is as a fit beautiful it's spot on the right size to fit onto the shaft it goes out of focus as soon as i zoom in doesn't it the only uh issue is that the key that's currently on the shaft there well you know what a key is uh is too large for the key way in the taper lock uh, center obviously if that key way was in there was any larger it would uh, cut right the way through your center lock so uh, what I'm going to have to do is take the key down I don't know what the key is made of uh, it might be possible just to file that down uh, I'm not sure at all uh, what what I might have to do but it's got to go down quite a way in order to fit into there uh, I could take it down all the way and just re rely upon the uh, clamping action of the taper lock center to this pulley. But I tell you what beautiful bit of engineering that is. I'm going to go back inside now and I'm going to show you the price. And you can then compare that with what's been offered on eBay and from other sources. I'm not sure what order these little videos are going to be edited together in. Here we are though, that's the tape lock bearing. I hope it's clear enough to see what a beautiful piece of engineering that is. And I've got it from a company called Bearing Station, uh, based in uh, Fife, in Glenrothes in Fife, Scottish company. They uh, are probably shipping uh, truckloads of these to industry but they were prepared to sell one to a home engineer hobby engineer and there you have it uh, that's the price plus fat plus carriage okay uh, so you've got to add carriage and fat onto that but look at the price I mean, okay, with carriage and with fat, uh, you add a little bit together. £11.50 for the complete thing. Just compare that with what one eBayer is charging for an aluminium pulley, which would do the same thing. Uh, an aluminium pulley. That is £11.50 from a proper engineer. From an eBayer who sells dresses, children's toys, all sorts of sods and sods, is not uh, an engineering specialist, uh, and I can't remember which one it is. Uh, they want 25 quid, 23, 25 quid for the same thing, and they can charge that because we will pay that for a pulley which will fit onto that motor uh, to run our. My, my food lathes will pay 25 quid for the pulley uh, rather than uh, finding the engineering supplies so i'm delighted to have found that that's all i'm saying nothing wrong with paying 25 quid for one it gets you pulley it gets you going better still for you guys out there who turn your own you know i've got some pulleys in the garage i've no aluminium blank or steel blank material to turn one out of because i don't have that sort of steel stock around but I have a pulley that I could re-bore and turn off or cut off the additional uh, bits of pulley that I could do and make it fit. But for what that's cost and the speed, uh, I'm delighted. Just one little mod to do. So there we go. This you will find then appended 
to a few of the videos where I've been looking at how to get a uh, three-phase motor to run my MyFred lathe.